our summer, the season of sun-kissed skin, carefree adventures, and perhaps a touch of romance. I, like many others, envisioned a hot girl summer, a whirlwind of rooftop parties, beach escapades, and maybe even a fling or two. But as the summer unfolded, a different kind of heat settled in, the kind that leaves you feeling depleted and yearning for something more. My soul craved rejuvenation, a sanctuary far from the madding crowd. The allure of a different kind of adventure began to whisper to me. I envisioned cobblestone streets bathed in golden sunlight, the rhythmic strum of flamenco guitars, and the tantalizing aroma of paella wafting through the air. Spain, with its rich history, vibrant culture, and promise of soulful experiences, beckoned me closer. The decision was made. I booked a one-way ticket, packed my bags, and bid farewell to the familiar. It was time to trade the relentless pursuit of fleeting pleasures for a journey of self-discovery and renewal. Little did I know, Spain awaited with open arms, ready to mend my weary spirit and ignite a newfound zest for life within me. There's a certain magic in stepping onto foreign soil, a sense of limitless possibilities and the thrill of the unknown. It's a feeling that stirs the soul, igniting a spark of adventure and curiosity. The air seems different, filled with the promise of new experiences and the allure of uncharted territories. As I disembarked the plane in Seville, the Andalusian sun embraced me with warmth and the air hummed with a vibrant energy that was both exhilarating and calming. The city seemed to welcome me with open arms, its streets alive with color and life, a tapestry of history and modernity woven together. Gone were the expectations, the pressures to conform to a predetermined narrative. In this new place, I felt a sense of freedom that was almost intoxicating. It was as if the weight of the world had been lifted off my shoulders, allowing me to breathe deeply and fully for the first time in ages. In their place blossomed a sense of liberation, a chance to redefine what summer and indeed life could be. The possibilities seemed endless, each day a blank canvas waiting to be filled with new memories and experiences. I felt a renewed sense of purpose, a desire to explore and discover not just the city, but also myself. My home away from home in Seville was a charming boutique hotel nestled in the heart of the Santa Cruz quarter. This picturesque accommodation was more than just a place to rest my head. It was a sanctuary, a retreat from the hustle and bustle of the outside world. Its whitewashed walls, adorned with vibrant bougainvillea, exuded an air of tranquility. The courtyard was a peaceful oasis, a place where I could sit and reflect, surrounded by the beauty of nature. The vibrant colors of the flowers contrasted beautifully with the pristine white walls, creating a scene that was both calming and invigorating. The scent of orange blossoms wafted through the courtyard, a sensory symphony that spoke of simpler pleasures. It was a reminder to slow down, to savor the moment and appreciate the small joys in life. Each breath was a reminder of the beauty that surrounded me, a testament to the magic of this place. It was the perfect sanctuary, a haven where I could shed the weight of expectations and embrace the freedom of solo exploration. Here, I found peace and solitude, a chance to reconnect with myself and rediscover the joy of simply being. Each morning, I'd wake up to the gentle chime of church bells, a reminder that I was far from the hustle and bustle of my everyday life. The sound was soothing, a gentle nudge to start the day with a sense of calm and purpose. It was a stark contrast to the noise and chaos of my usual routine, a welcome change that set the tone for the day ahead. I'd savor a leisurely breakfast of café con leche and tostada con tomate, the sweet tang of the tomato a delightful awakening for my taste buds. This simple yet delicious meal was a daily ritual, a moment of indulgence that I looked forward to each morning. It was a chance to sit and enjoy the flavors, to start the day with a sense of contentment and satisfaction. With a map in hand and a heart brimming with anticipation, I'd set out to lose myself in the labyrinthine streets of Seville, ready to embrace whatever adventures the day might bring. Each turn revealed a new discovery, 
a hidden gem waiting to be explored. The city was a maze of history and culture, a place where every corner held a story and every street was a new adventure waiting to unfold. Sevilla, oh Sevilla, a city that seduces the senses and steals your heart with its effortless charm. Nestled in the heart of Andalusia, this vibrant city is a living, breathing tapestry of history, culture and culinary delights. Every corner turned revealed a postcard-worthy scene, graceful flamenco dancers swirling in sun-drenched plazas, their movements telling stories of love, sorrow and joy. The rhythm of their feet echoed through the cobblestone streets, inviting everyone to join in the celebration of life. Majestic horses pulling ornate carriages added a touch of old world charm, transporting you back in time to an era of elegance and grandeur. The clip-clop of hooves on the cobblestones was a soothing soundtrack to the city's bustling life. And then there were the tapas bars, where locals engaged in animated conversations, their laughter mingling with the clinking of glasses. These bars were overflowing with delectable treats, each dish a small but significant part of Seville's rich culinary heritage. Time seemed to slow down, encouraging me to savour each moment, each interaction, each delicious bite. It was as if the city itself was urging me to take a pause, to truly experience the essence of Seville. One of my most cherished memories is of a balmy evening spent at a tapas bar tucked away in a hidden alleyway. The warm lighting and cosy atmosphere made it feel like a secret haven, a place where time stood still. The air crackled with the sound of laughter and the clinking of glasses as I shared plates of gambas al achillo, garlic shrimp, and patatas bravas, spicy potatoes with newfound friends. Each dish was a celebration of flavors, a testament to the Spanish love for good food and good company. The simplicity of the food, made with fresh local ingredients, was a revelation. It was a reminder that sometimes the best things in life are the simplest. The markets of Seville were a feast for the senses, with stalls brimming with fresh produce aromatic spices and vibrant colors. Each ingredient told a story of the land and the people who cultivated it. Each bite was an explosion of flavor, a testament to the Spanish passion for life's simple pleasures. The food was not just sustenance, but a way of connecting with the culture and the people. Of course, no trip to Seville would be complete without experiencing its cultural treasures. The city's rich history was evident in every corner from the grand palaces to the narrow alleyways. I marveled at the grandeur of the Alcazar of Seville, its intricate Moorish architecture, a testament to the city's rich history. The detailed carvings and stunning tilework were a visual feast, each element telling a story of a bygone era. I strolled through the lush gardens of the Parque de Maria Luisa, the scent of orange blossoms filling the air with a sweet perfume. The gardens were a tranquil oasis, a place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and reconnect with nature. And I lost myself in the flamenco rhythms at a traditional tablao, the raw emotion and passion of the dance leaving me breathless. The intensity of the performers, their expressions and movements were a powerful reminder of the depth of human emotion and the beauty of artistic expression. Seville, with its tapestry of sights and flavors, had woven itself into the fabric of my soul, leaving an indelible mark that I would carry with me forever. From the vibrant energy of Seville, I journeyed onward to Granada, a city nestled in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. If Seville was a fiery flamenco dancer, Granada was a soulful poet, its beauty etched in the ancient stones of the Alhambra and the whispers of its Moorish past. The journey itself was a feast for the eyes, a tapestry of rolling hills blanketed in olive groves and vineyards. As I approached Granada, the majestic Alhambra, perched atop a hill overlooking the city, took my breath away. Its intricate architecture, a blend of Moorish and Christian styles, seemed to shimmer under the Andalusian sun, a testament to Spain's rich and complex history. I spent my days in Granada, wandering through the cobblestone streets of the Albaicin, the city's ancient Moorish quarter. I sipped mint tea in traditional tea houses, 
the air thick with the scent of spices and the murmur of conversations in hushed tones. I marveled at the intricate tilework and graceful arches of the Alhambra, each detail a testament to the skill and artistry of its creators. One evening, I stumbled upon a small, intimate flamenco performance in a cave tucked away in the Sacramonte district. The air was thick with anticipation, and the dim lighting added a sense of mystery and allure to the setting. The raw emotion, the percussive footwork, the soulful melodies of the guitar, it was as if the very soul of Spain was being poured out before me. Each strum of the guitar strings, each tap of the dancer's shoes, resonated deeply within me, telling stories of love, loss and resilience. In that moment, I felt a profound connection to something bigger than myself, a sense of belonging that transcended language and culture. The audience, though diverse, seemed united in their shared appreciation of this beautiful art form. As I sat there, mesmerized by the performance, a wave of emotion washed over me. Tears welled up in my eyes, not from sadness, but from a deep sense of connection and understanding. It was as if the performers were speaking directly to my soul. The weight of expectations, the need to conform, the self-doubt that had been weighing me down, it all seemed to melt away. The music and dance had a cathartic effect, allowing me to release pent-up emotions and find solace in the moment. In its place, I felt a sense of peace, a renewed sense of self-acceptance. It was as if the flamenco performance had unlocked a part of me that had been hidden away, buried under layers of societal pressures and personal insecurities. I realized that the journey wasn't just about the destinations, but about the transformations that occur within us along the way. Each experience, each moment of connection, was a step towards self-discovery and personal growth. Spain, with its vibrant culture, its warm hospitality, and its embrace of life's simple pleasures had awakened something within me. The country's rich history, its passionate people, and its zest for life had left an indelible mark on my soul. It had reminded me of the importance of slowing down, of savoring the moment, of connecting with my inner self. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to forget the beauty of simply being present. It had taught me that true happiness wasn't about ticking off items on a bucket list, but about embracing the unexpected turns of life's journey with an open heart and a curious spirit. The spontaneous moments, the unplanned adventures, often hold the most profound lessons and the deepest joys. As the evening drew to a close and the final notes of the guitar faded into the night, I felt a deep sense of gratitude. Gratitude for the experiences, the connections, and the lessons learned. Spain had not only shown me its beauty, but had also helped me rediscover.